Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a tree map that you can drill down into. To start with, we're going to create a parameter. I'm going to call this drill down level. We're going to make this an integer. And we're going to have this be a range. We're just saying we're only going to go down three levels. All right, here. And let's build the tree map real quick. I'm going to grab the category, text, bring the sales to size. I'm going to show the drill down level. Over here is one. We're now going to create a field. We're going to call this drill down labels. And if the drill down level equals one, then we want this to be a category. If drill down level is two, then we want that to be, uh, we're actually going to do the category plus, and this is actually the carriage return. And why we want to do that is we want to we're going to need to have it differentiate later on. Okay, and we're going to bring the drop down labels and replace the categories. So you all you've got the we'll just bring that to color as well. So you've got the colors, you got category one. That's great, but now we want it to go to the next level. So what we need to do is we're going to create another calculated field. I'm going to call this drill down calc. And if the drill down level is one, then we want this to be two. And else if the drill down level is equals to two, can, I need to blow that up. Then we want it to be three. And this is how we're going to cycle through the different levels. Three. So what this is going to do is this is going to give us what the next level should be. And when it gets to the level three, the product names, we're going to cycle back up to the, the top, the categories. And hit OK. And now we're going to want this available. So we're going to put this under details. And we also need to make this, just so you can see it, we actually need this to be not the sum. We need this to be the average. The average will give us the one, two, three value. Now we're going to come under worksheets, under actions. I'd already set it up. And what we've got here is we're going to set the parameter. The drill down level, this over here, we're going to set that equal to the average drill down calc. All right, we're going to make this average. So what's going to happen is when we click on this map, the drill down level is going to be assigned this value of two. And if you remember, if this value is, if this value is two, then the subcategory is added. So now you've got the technology, you got the category and the subcategory listed. And if you click one more time, it takes a while. Now you've got all the different product names because this is the category the level you want now if you can see here this is level one so when we click again this one is going to get assigned to this drill down level which will then change the category the drill down labels to just the category so then the dollars will be aggregated at the category level so now what we want to do is we want to be able to filter and this is where it gets a little bit exciting we're going to have to create another parameter because we want that value to be captured. So we're going to create the parameter. 
we're going to call this uh, drill down. We'll just call it filter. It's not a good, great name. And string. And we're going to make the current value. I'm just going to delete it, and we're going to allow all values. Okay, and you can see that drop down here. We're now going to show the parameter. There you go. We need to create. Okay, so what's going to happen now is we're going to, under the worksheet actions, we are going to assign the drill down filter the value of the labels. We're just going to go through that real quick just so you see what's happening. Click on the technology. This gets signed to this drill down filter. We select furniture and tables. Takes a second. It gets assigned to this furniture labels. Okay. And we'll go back up to the top. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Or it took me a little while to figure this out. We're going to call this drill down um, chart filter. So if we're if the drill down level is at the highest level, then we want to show everything. Okay? We want all those different categories to be shown. Now, if the drill down level is two, then we're going to use a contains function. And what this is going to do, what string do we want to search? We want to search this string. We want to search that string with the category. I'll set the drill down level is three. Then we're going to look for items that have, I apologize, it's so screwy. Let me just And it's, you can't hardly read it either. To me. All right, so if it's a level two, if it's level one, we want everything to show up. If it's level two, this is this drill down filter is going to have been assigned the office supplies. And so we want this drill down filter to match what's in the categories, or we want to be able to find the category in the drill down filter. And then also, next time we're going to look for a drill down filter. We're going to search it for the subcategory. And this is going to give us a, a true or false, true or false. I'm going to put the drill down filter up here on the filters. We only want true to be shown. Click OK. Now we're going to select technology. We're looking in the drill down filter for items where the technology or the category matches. I'm going to click technology. Now it has all the items that have phones selected. You see this technology phones is over here. And we're looking for the string. The substring we're looking for in there is the subcategory. We want to find the subcategory, which in this case is phones. And if it's in this drop down filter, it's going to return true. Otherwise, it's going to be false and filtered out. And then you're back up. Same thing, let's do office supplies. Let's find the small one, fasteners. Now, this is pulling up supplies, which we don't want. We just wanted fasteners. 
And the reason is, is because it found supplies in the category office supplies. So what we need to do is come under filters and we're just going to add, let's make it a little bigger so you can see. We're just going to add category plus subcategory and we'll apply that because we don't have the There we go, because we didn't have the character 13 in there. And so now you can see how we got office supplies, fasteners, staples are on different lines because that's character 13. We're only pulling the fasteners just like we wanted. Click again and you're back up at the top. Make sure to leave comments, give me some video ideas, hit subscribe, and I can't wait to see you next time. Thanks a lot.